hello guys welcome to my channel and this is the next problem we are going to discuss about and this is code forces problem number uh, 61 sorry 617a known as elephant and it's a type a problem so we are going to discuss how we are going to solve that problem so an elephant decided to visit his friend it turned out that the elephant house is located at point zero and his friend's house is located at point x which is greater than 0 of the coordinate line. In one step, the elephant can move either 1, 2, 3, 4 or 5 positions forward. Determine what is the minimum number of steps he needed to make in order to get it to its friend's house. So, okay, that's a very basic mathematical problem where you have to uh, tell that how many steps the elephant has to take to reach to his friend's house. The input, the first line of input contains an integer x where the, which is the coordinate of the friend's house and output print the number of steps that elephant needs to make to get from point 0 to point x so basically this is the problem where like the input is 5 and we have the number of steps that the elephant can take so these are 1 2 3 4 5 and 5 so Basically for the problem test case 1, we see that with one step the elephant can move forward to its house, friend's house. For the next test case which is 12, uh, let's check it how we are going to solve that. So like 12 divided by 5, 2 steps. So we are left with like if we divide 5 if we divide 12 by 5 we are left with a remainder of 2 10 so we are left with now 2 steps ok so the 2 steps cannot be covered by 4 steps cannot be covered by 3 steps but can be covered by 2 steps at max so 2 divided by 2 equals to 1 so total number of steps 3 so it's a very bas basic mathematical problem and we are going to solve that very easily ok now let's quote that problem number 617a so, ok guys this is the problem blank and let's start okay so like we have to take the first line of input the coordinate of the friend house and the next the number of steps that the elephant can take can be defined in an array so the array initialization is like this where so I am going to define the array in descending order because like I have to do not iterate with one step and then two and then go to five I have to start with five so that I can mm, like go down uh, like go to zero or reach to point zero very easily so uh, that are the number of steps of elephant now we have to take a counter now we have to just iterate over the array so now we have to check that now how we are going to do that is like sorry so how we are going to achieve that is like if the test case is 12 so the 
12 divided by 5 so we are going to check the value of n that is greater than the value of index a i first condition should be this like first n should be greater than a i because we are only dividing the numbers uh, we are only dividing the like the total number of um, coordinates by the number the steps can be taken okay next is like the count should be uh, added by n divided by ai plus count i'm sorry for the writing guys because i am writing with my mouse pad and i'm not very uh, prone to right clear so the count is initialized as that and how the n is going to initialize n mod ai so that is a very basic problem i think and it does not require any explanation but yes this is the condition that is most important as we are not going to divide one by five step as it is ludicrous and will take um, more number of steps so we are going to divide only the number of um, coordinates that are left to be covered with the number of steps that the elephant can take and that should be greater so there is no use of dividing one or two by four because I, we know that with four steps we cannot cover two steps we can only cover two steps by only traveling two steps only as we will by traveling four steps we are going to move forward than two I think that makes sense so yes I have to check whether n is greater than equal to ai sorry steps i and now if the number of steps are greater than count is equals to count plus n divided by sorry, steps i and next n equals to n mod a i then sorry if i am writing too much a so i think that makes sense but let us discuss more about how it is going to run so let us for the problem uh, for the input 12 n equals to 12 count equals to 0 so no problem um so if uh, like our array initialize with 5, 4, 3, 2 and 1. So count is now becoming 12 divided by 5. So that makes 2 and then value of n becomes 2. Now 2 is not greater than equal to 4. We are not going to run or do anything. 2 is not greater than or equal to 3 we are not going to do anything 2 is greater than or equal to 2 so count becomes um, count two plus 2 divided by 2 is 1 so the total number of steps that has to be taken is 3 and n becomes 2 mod 2 that is 0 so yes we have reached the final state and the count of and the answer is 3 this is the answer so yes i think we are working fine here and let's just run it oh i am not printed anything yet no problem So yes it is working fine for the sample let's check it for five yes it is working so let's go and submit that okay so running it's running 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 and yes finally the solution has been accepted so this is the solution of problem number 617a 
keep watching guys keep subscribing thank you for watching bye bye